Hi right, guys, welcome back. Uh, today's gonna be a quick video, and what we're gonna do is we are going to uh, undercoat and protect uh, the undercarriage of my new truck. And I'm just gonna go over it real quick, show you guys how I do it. Um, everybody else does it their own way, but I'm not saying my way's the best, but my way works for me, and it's simple. So let's get to it. All right, here's the truck, and I just wanna show you guys real quick underneath here. You guys can see all that. You can see there's a bit of surface rust starting on the A-arms so forth if you get down a little lower you can see some more it's uh just surface rust it's not rot and i want to get that before it starts to be rot uh, you can see the axle's got a lot of surface rust on it we're going to coat that um, pretty much everything else looks really good just a little bit of surface rust here and there same as back here but we are going to coat all that so let's go to the garage and go over the products that i use all right, this is the first product that I use. This is um, Permatex Rust Treatment. And what this does is um, it turns, I don't know if you can see it. Anyway, so you can look it up online. But supposedly what it does is it tells you to use gloves and stuff, and uh, I will. Um, it says it's not a primer. Um, so basically you shake it up really good, and uh, you need to use a cup because if rust, once, this, once rust hits this, it starts to activate. And if you try to use it from the bottle and you don't use it all, you have to throw it away because you've activated it and it's no good anymore. So they, they tell you to use a cup and uh, a brush to put it on with. And it's just a cheap throwaway brush. And uh, so this is what you put on first. Then you have to let this dry 24 hours before you can do anything else. And then after this dries, I hit it with two or three cans of this, which is fluid film. And I just spray it on and um, it uh, attracts dirt and stuff and it kind of make encapsulates all the metal so that water can't get to it and oxygen can't get to it and then um, it prevents rust and this stuff here turns black it goes on creamy white like milk and um, when it's fully activated it turns black in color all right I'm gonna shake it up first I'll open it up and you gotta Gotta puncture this. And you guys can see it's like a creamy white. Important here. Yeah. I don't know how much of it we're gonna use, but we'll start with that. And I'll cover it back up. And we're gonna use just a regular brush. I'm gonna dip it in and paint all the rust. Alright, the truck's on the grass because this stuff does drip and I don't want it all over my driveway. This is pretty much it. You just brush it on. Make sure you cover all the rust. Uh, you guys can see I painted that but you can see like the welds the welds are all starting to give a little bit of rust And this here would have been, this step wouldn't be needed if this truck was brand new. And the person that bought it new did a proper undercoating or fluid filmed it. But unfortunately this truck didn't get that. So we have surface rust and we have to hit it. And this is the only way to really do it if you want to stop it. And you'll see, let me show you what this looks like tomorrow. Now, I'm gonna keep going because I got a lot more to do. I still gotta do all that and then underneath. So, come back tomorrow when it's dry. Uh, let me show you guys a little footage of um, my previous truck, what it looked like. Now, when I did this one, it was really rusty and I actually had to flick the rust off. So, here's the footage 
of before and after. The frames got service rock, but you know, we get that up here in New England because they salt the roads. So this is what the frame looks like once you put the rust converter on it. And you can see I missed a few spots down in there, but for the most part, it seems to have encapsulated the rust. And um, you can see I got some stuff on the ground here from cleaning it yesterday. And down inside there, as well as over there. That's a pretty nice job. If your truck is that rusty, you can see that it does make a big difference and it will protect it in the long run. Hey right, guys, it's been a week later and I was gonna do it the very next day, but it rained out and then the week started and now it's in the following weekend. So let's show you guys um, exactly what my frame looks like now that I put the um, Permatex rust converter on that. You guys can see here, that rust converter did a fantastic job of making all this metal. Even up here, the feet a little closer. Bumper supports all look really, really good. Patch side wheel well, as you can see literally makes everything look brand new here's the frame right here is the uh, cab mouse as you can see everything looks great this is where all the rust was where the welds are you can see it. it's converted it really nice cab mount same thing frame all the way down looks brand new same thing under here in the back near the leaf springs you can see that's the bed mount and the shocks the rear end looks much better than it did and this stuff here is all dry now it looks wet but it's dry there's nothing on it and you can see I got it all in there everything looks good you can look at the frame all the way back you can see it's nice and clean everything looks good all right this is the back bumper you can see everything's nice no rust trailer hitch small but converted i even painted up underneath the back side of the spare tire that was all rusty and that looks nice now same thing over here show you guys the back of the rear end which looks a lot better than it did now inside the wheel well for the driver's side back you can see that all the rust is gone looks really nice and it was just surface rust no rot because this is a fairly new truck and it looks really good All right guys, so now I'm going to put the fluid film on and this is just basically all I do, just just coat it. And I'm gonna to try to stay away from sensors and stuff because it does tend to uh, coat them with a, once the dirt gets on them and stuff. They tend to um, get clogged up with stuff. Right. Let's get underneath here. This stuff will dry, get real tacky, protect this really, really good. And you're supposed to do this every year. Which we will. pretty much it that's all you do then you want to make sure you you get coating on everything so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm going to do this because I don't want to get this on the camera and come back show you guys what it looks like when it's all done okay it's all sprayed up you can see it's all nice and shiny now and this will dry tacky and then it'll attract dirt and then dirt will stick to it and road grime and stuff 
and it creates an encapsulation of the frame which doesn't allow water in here to start rusting it and as you can see I got the cross member as well and all the way down she looks good let's go back and take a look at the rear end this is the back same thing all nice and shiny if we come down here show you guys the rear end all nice and shiny here same thing it's all coated all up here is coated check out this wheel well same thing and let me tell you this stuff stinks and it drips all in your face while you're all up underneath there <laughs> but it's gonna get done so wear glasses And it's a good coat. And we'll check this last wheel well. As you can see, nice and shiny. You can see some of it's kind of like built up on there. It's just gonna drip off. So I suggest you do it on the grass or gravel or something, not on your driveway. So that's pretty much it. It's undercoated, it's ready for winter. I may do it again before the snow starts flying but as you guys saw in the pictures of my last truck the before and after you can do this um, if you already have scaly rust you just got to remove the scale um, put some rust converter on it and then fluid film and uh, as you can see from the results from my last truck I did it later than I should have actually I did it after five years of ownership I should have did it right away my mistake I'm not making the same mistake twice so learn from my mistake and you guys will have a nice rot free truck um, all right well thanks for watching I hope you guys learned something because uh, I did I learned the hard way don't learn my way learn your way and um, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video